Ladies and gentlemen, today we will show you Darren's beautiful C8 Corvette that looks like an American Ferrari. All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, Darren and I are out here with his beautiful 2023 70th anniversary C8 Corvette. And in my opinion, and I think his too, this is like the American Ferrari right here. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna walk you through and tell you exactly what he's done to his car to make it look so phenomenal. I know you guys saw that drone footage this car in person just looks like a Ferrari. So let's get going. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, it's kind of ironic. We're almost in the exact same location from two years ago where I yeah. had my C7 Z06. Exactly. And I was talking about how I was trying to get a C8 and yeah. actually I've had a couple different C8s and here we are, my beloved C8. Uh, yeah. As you mentioned in the intro, it's a 2023 70th anniversary edition pearl white metallic and for those who are not super familiar with how the 70th edition works you had two choices you had uh pearl white metallic and carbon flash metallic for your exterior colors and then the interior you pretty much didn't have any choices you had to go with this white and black and the alcantara interior which really is awesome yeah it's uh just like a mclaren or and, a Lambo. and we've said it so many times in previous videos and shows that we wish this was an option that you could pay on the you know the 3LT or 3LZ trim levels to get this. It's just it's just a game changer on the interior of the the Chevrolet cars. It just it, like you said, it makes it look like a McLaren or a Porsche or even a Lamborghini. It does. Uh, now there is one thing you can do right here. Right. You can, and in hindsight, I maybe would have changed that. If you get the competition seats, they reverse the black and the white. So this would be black, and then this would be white. Right. And of course, you got the higher bolster, yeah. uh, lower part of the seats. Sure. But yeah, so this car, I special ordered it. I think the order went in April of 2022, and I took delivery in October of 2022. And it was one of those situations, all the constraints with the anniversary cars, the order was there and it was either the wheels or the mag ride, and I yeah. wanted all that stuff. So this car is a Z51 car, it is mag ride, it is front lift. Some people are thrown off. I, I opted to get the low factory OEM spoiler. Um, that was actually, I had to do a delete of the Z51 wing. I just, I prefer the low wing, just kind of my style. You and I both. Yeah, and it's, you know, now more and more people are doing it, and a lot of people are doing the duck bill Yes. Uh, which I'm a fan of. I think those look great too. Yeah. But as far as the car goes. I mean, you've done lots of aftermarket lots stuff. Lots of aftermarket stuff. I have a hard time leaving good enough alone. <laughs> and it's funny because I tell people when I buy a car or I'm buying a car, I'm building it in my head before I even get it of, yeah. of what it would look like. For those that have seen the channel, seen my Instagram page, you've seen that I've had now, this is my third iteration of wheels. Yes. So these are forged light wheels. Uh, we can talk about more of those in a second. But I mean, we'll just to keep it simple. Let's start from the front. So. I mean, literally one of the first things I did on day one, I threw the 1VM ACS splitter on. Yep. Very subtle, uh, but looks great. Highly recommend that. It's, it definitely changes the look. And it's really, I mean, we've said this so many times, GM should have done something like that. Now the Z06 and E-Ray, I think they are doing a carbon flash. Sure. Front uh, splitter, which is great. But something like that from ACS, composite, super easy. Anyone is capable of doing the install and it, it really changes the, the front end dynamics of the it car. It does, it makes it way more aggressive, makes it look sharper in the front. Exactly. Beautiful. Um, the paint, with the help of Trevor from the Detail Lab, uh, did a two-stage paint correction, which is probably a little bit overkill on a, on a car like this, it's brand new, but it the lighting conditions aren't quite ideal now as far as the light hitting it, but it just pops in the light. Oh yeah. And then of course, the Underdog coating products. We did the whole exterior. I've done the wheels. Uh, we showed in a video. I actually did the seats. Um, I did all the plastic. I did all the plastic underneath the frunk and underneath the hardtop convertible, underneath the trunk. I mean, pretty much anything that you could coat on this, including the exhaust, coated. I've coated it. 
We briefly touched on the wheels. As far as I know right now, they are one of one. I don't think anyone has these, these wheels. They are one of one. There's yes. been others that have came out that Jose from Forge Light um, and the guys at Wheels Designers have, have made for other people, but they've been different combinations of colors. Sure. So this is a polished lip and it's a, it's a stepped lip, which you'll see in all the high-end wheels. Yeah, what's so amazing is, is this lip is polished and then the inside is brushed. Right. And then the outside piece is brushed as well. Exactly. And they are cut to accept the OEM center caps, which in my case, I think is a really nice touch because I'm able yeah, to use my, my nice. 70th anniversary right. caps. Kind of right. makes it kind of neat. Oh yeah. Um, my car is a relatively lower number anniversary car. I think it's number 773. So I was able to get the edge red calipers. That was something later in the production. Right. They went to the, uh, the red, right, right. bright red. Yeah. And I'm actually, I'm happy that I have the, the edge red. I think it's a little more subtle. Right. I do like it. Also previously shown in, in one of Mike's videos that we did, we did the R1 concept rotors and that guys, are slotted and drilled. So not only does the front splitter and the wheels make this look like a Ferrari, but you know, those plain old rotors that have no drills or slots in them, they just don't look good. These look fantastic. Yeah, it's another thing, arguably, that maybe GM should have done. Sure. It, they the, used to with Z51. Yeah, exactly. You know? it, it changes the car, the wheel, the aggressiveness. It does. Especially when you do nice, bigger wheels like I've done. Right. Which, back to the wheels, these are 20 by 9 fronts with 255, 30, 20 Michelin Pilot 4S tires. And then the rear, we're running 21 by 12 with um, 325, 25, 21 tires. Again, Michelin Pilot 4 S's. These are the same tires that come OEM on the Z51 package. Right. Uh, just different sizes. Just so different same, sizes, yeah. same type of- And they're of, not run flats. They're, they are not run flats. Right. Uh, but you get the same type of experience as far as handling, uh, traction. Sure. For, for here in Texas, you know, some people will consider them a, a more of a summer tire. Right. They seem to be fine year round. I mean, when it's 30 degrees, I'm not driving my car anyways. So right. I haven't had any problems. Aesthetically, another big item, since we're on the rear of the car, is the AWE Touring exhaust. Yeah. And again, that was featured in another video. And that was something else, you know, that uh, I, I just had a vision in my head to do something different with that exhaust. So I got busy and you helped me a little bit too. We hand polished all yeah. the stainless uh, steel for the AW exhaust. And then it kind of was one of those things that was just meant to be in the end. They had a constraint issue on the black chrome tips. And right. they were telling me, hey, really apologize. Do you want the exhaust? Do you want to hold off? Or we'll send you the chrome tips and we'll send you the black ones later. I was like, you know what? I've done all kinds of powder coating stuff. Just send me the chrome ones and I'll figure it out. And honestly, I was just going to get them black. And then I went into unit 14 in Plano, uh, Trevor's friend and start talking to them and they had all the colors out there. And I was like, huh, maybe I should do something different. And then there again, it clicked in my head, you know, McLarens and Porsches, they'll do this almost that exact same color yes. where it's almost, it's a really dark silver black. And they look amazing. And what this is for people that, that might wonder, it's actually not powder coated, it's Cerakoted. Yes. And the reason I did that, and they actually told me this, is if you powder coat those, and that's why AWE does actually it's black chrome. But if you do powder coating because of the heat potentially that you have in the rear of the vehicle, it'll keep curing and it'll get blotchy. Sure. So that's where we went down the direction with the Cerakoting and in talking to them, and I kind of told them what I wanted, they came up with the blend, said they would do it. And if I wasn't happy, they would redo it. And I was super happy. As soon as I saw them like that, perfect. So yeah, it's a 90, 90 black, 10 silver Cerakote. And there you go. And then of course, to finish it off, we have the ACS rear diffusers, which is a newer product for them, I think in the last six months or so. Yes. And again, previous video, Mike will have to link all these up because we put a lot of love and care and blood and sweat, yeah. literally blood and sweat. And That's right. <laughs> losing bolts and wrenches <laughs> and everything else. But again, a very subtle little touch to the rear of the vehicle. But it makes it look more exotic. Makes it look more exotic. There's obviously other ones out there that people can, you know, everyone's sure. got their own preference. I, I don't like the more aggressive, bigger, deeper fins. So when ACS, I remember he showed us a prototype at Carlisle last year and I was like, I'm sold. Yeah. I'll take them. Yep. Um, perfect. It's hard to tell tonight, but uh, the rear tail lights, we use the Paragon 
tinted uh, covers. To stealth them out. To stealth them out. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hard to tell. It's pretty hard to tell. But it does look really nice. I have that on my car too, and it looks good. Does look good. So you know, interior didn't really do a whole lot. I did add um, from Paragon. Yeah. They're, I mean, it's real simple. There again, carbon fiber, ignition switch, and then the paddles. And then this and is then another company. Prime. Yeah. Car carbon add-ons. Just kind of another detail picture or piece. Sure. Detail piece. Um, the window tint. It's about twenty-two percent on the sides and the rear and the front is like 72 percent 70 percent and you really can't tell you can kind of tell tonight it's a little, yeah, a little bit but it's the except expel ceramic film right and i've been doing this for the last couple of years on all my vehicles tinting that front windshield even if you do 70 percent, you can't really tell but man does it cut the heat out yes I, I will continue to do it it's awesome car was lowered with paragon one inch drop springs in the rear and the front uh paragon front collars and then the coils in the rear, since it's a Z51 car, they adjusted them down a little bit to kind of give it the leveled look. And I mean, I'm super happy with it. Show them, show them when you put your finger in there, how low it is, just so they know. Yeah, it's, it's a it's finger. About one finger, it's about in one the, finger in the rear and in the front. Yeah, I think they're almost the exact same. Yeah. Yep. So it being lowered really changes everything. So the two things, in my opinion, that really make this car stand out is the offset on the wheels. So they actually stick out and they're flush with the fenders. And then it being lowered almost two inches gets rid of that wheel gap. And oh we've, gone, we've gone up a size in wheels. And yeah. Inch, which is the Z06 and E-Rays will have this size exactly. of colors. But it's funny because I've had multiple people and people that are Corvette people, including one of my friends that actually owns a C8. I drove past him one day picking up my daughter at school and he called me immediately. He goes, Dude, you got a Z06? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, I just saw you drive by. Why didn't you come over? Why didn't you tell me? I go, that's my car. Haven't you seen it? He goes, yeah. I haven't seen your car in like months. Yeah. Because he thought, because the wider, it just gave it that wider lower. It does. Yeah. yeah. So. And to me, this is what really makes it look like the Ferrari. The exhaust, everything else is great. But those two things alone, just the wheels and it being lowered, makes this car just look yeah, and I think so, my wheels, I've heard from a lot of people, have changed exotic. a lot of people's opinions on doing non-black wheels, right? Oh, yeah. That's the fact. Everyone's got black wheels, black wheels. Right. And I, I'm pretty sold on brushed wheels. I mean, they just pop. You can see them. When you're going down the road, it just looks like, you know, flashing. I mean, yes, they look awesome. So I agree. I'm happy. Seriously, anytime I used this as a thumbnail or when I took video of this or you took video of this, and I put it on Instagram or anywhere, people just went nuts over this car. Yeah, I've had a couple videos and uh, pictures on, on Instagram go viral. Yeah. Um, well, I've had an amazing photo shoot in the last month right. where just by luck, a weather situation made it where it looked like I was floating on a pond of water. Yes. So if people go to my Instagram page, they'll be able to see all those pictures. I'll be posting yeah. more of those up. But um, His Instagram page will be linked in the description. It's Inner Demons. He's got an awesome page. So uh, what's next for you, man? Good question. You know, I came to a, a time where I received a phone call a couple of weeks ago as we're coming into the end of this month of, of July. And I knew I was kind of getting close, but I still thought I was maybe a little bit off. And my dealer told me, he said, hey, you're next up for our Z06 allocation. Sweet. And what I didn't know, it was still, I was on the verge. He's like, we may get a 23. And I told him, if you get a 23, I want an anniversary car. Yeah. Count me in anniversary Z06. We all knew about that time, the constraint issues, or well, I shouldn't say constraint issues. They were pretty much stopping the, the allocations for the anniversary cars, even Z06. And he said, okay. And he goes, well, if not, you've got our first 2024 allocation. So I was actually, I was pretty bummed out. I don't know if I told you, I was like, dang it. I really, I love this car. I love the interior. I absolutely love this paint. The pearl metallic paint it's beautiful. is gonna go down as, as really one of my top two sure. colors that they've ever put on a Corvette, regardless of which generation. So yeah, I was a little bit bummed out at first and then the wheels got turning. I'm like, all right, time to move on. And yeah, I think I've came up with my new build for the, for the 2024 Z06. And I put the word out that I was going to be selling my car. And literally within a couple hours, I mean, I had people, <laughs> Hey, I want to buy it. I want to buy it. I don't I had doubt one it. Person that really wanted to buy it. The car sold. So it's sold, it's sold. that quick. 
but that's because of how beautiful it is. No, it's true. Um, the person that bought it, they saw it, they wanted it. It had everything they would do. And yeah, it's, it's a real bummer that it's going to go, but for those that- It won't that, be once you get your Z6. That's what I'm saying. Those, for those that know me, I've got 10 other cars built in my head. Right. So there'll be other cool things to come and moving up into a Z06, I've already got some wheels in the works. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do something different. I'm not gonna disclose my color combination, but it'll be something I've never done. And maybe if I get the car soon enough, maybe the first one that's out there. So I'm gonna That'd do something awesome. a little bit different, interior, exterior combo. And it's gonna have that same exotic look. Of course it is. It's, it's gonna it's And gonna it's be... gonna actually look wider because it is 3.6 inches wider. Oh yeah. They're gonna have, I'm gonna have 355 rear tires on that Sweet. one. Sweet. Uh, I mean, I will tell people, as far as right now, I am not gonna do the Z07 package. You don't need to. I'm not doing high wing or any of that stuff. I'm gonna keep that low, sleek look. Yeah. Brakes, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the carbon. Probably not. It's I'm on the fence. almost nine grand, but. It's all on the fence. It uh, would help you keep the wheels cleaner. Yes, but I've already talked to some aftermarket companies sure, and got sure. some slings in the works with yeah, rotors yeah. and pads. So that I think is probably a better option. And it allows us to do a video. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So no, I mean, I'm super happy to have been able to, you know, do everything we've done on the show with the car. So yeah. people have seen it, received so many positive comments Absolutely. and inspired a lot of people. I've never seen a negative comment. Hey, so. if people want to get, leave negative comments, yeah. leave them down below. It's right. fine. It yeah, won't yeah. hurt my feelings. Yeah, Look. Yeah. But no, it's inspired a lot of people to do wheels, to do exhaust, to right. lower their car. A lot of our friends that have never done that stuff and, and they're getting excited about their cars. And that's what we want, right? Is to have the passion of our cars and share them and that's exactly enjoy them. And that's the whole reason why I started this channel because I wanted to show you the passion I had for the car and let that exude over into you guys and then help you make decisions about what to do to your car. You guys know how built my car is and it's all a lot to do with his. You know, obviously I did the graphics and things like that differently, but as far as the wheels, the lowering, everything is pretty much identical. Yeah, so it's been a good run with this car. I've had it for almost a year exactly. Like I said, I'm, I'm gonna miss it when it's officially gone, when it leaves this weekend. It, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be tough. Sure. And I told the person that's buying it, these anniversary cars for people that have them, I mean, you're really lucky. These are just amazing cars. The paint, the interior, the way they designed it, I can remember when they first announced it a year and a half ago, whenever it was, I couldn't call the dealer because I knew it was on their list to get a car. I'm like, I want pearl white. I want the anniversary car. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm super happy with the experience I've had with the car. I've had a great lot of good times, met a lot of great people. Yeah. And that's yeah, what these cars do. Off to bigger and better things. So. All right. Well, uh, give Darren a big thumbs up. Tell them congratulations for getting this thing sold. Also, leave comments down below if you agree with me that this is the true American Ferrari and if it's the best build you've ever seen on a C8. That's my opinion. That's obviously his opinion. But to me, that's my favorite build I've ever seen on a C8. My car, obviously, is also one of my favorites too, but I really love this. It looks more like a Ferrari, in my opinion, than even my car. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road.